I'm with Change Healthcare. Uh, we're the healthcare company Brian mentioned uh, a few minutes ago. And uh, we're, we're mainly U.S. based, but we do have an international presence. Uh, we do all the imaging in Ireland. Uh, we have workflow systems. Uh, but today, what I'm going to really talk about is what we're doing in the U.S. with blockchain. And uh, uh, let's talk a little bit about who we are. We are a gathering of many different healthcare companies that have come together over the last 30, 40 years. McKesson Technology Services, MDON, Envoy, Altegra, uh, the list goes on and on. Uh, but what we've put together is one of the largest independent healthcare companies uh, in the United States and, and probably in the world, independent being an important part of that. Uh, we serve the providers of healthcare, uh, your dentists, your uh, um, general practitioners. We serve the payers, uh, whether it be the government who's paying or an insurance company who's paying or your employer's paying. And we serve the patients, the consumers of the healthcare. Uh, we handle financial payments. We handle healthcare claims that are moving through our system. We handle clinical information. Um, an extensive network. Networks are one of our mainstays. We see about two out of three claims in the U.S. every day are moving through our systems. And to show you a bit of the numbers here, uh, move about a trillion dollars a year through our networks, uh, 14 billion healthcare transactions. So uh, there's a lot of technology that is in place in healthcare today that is moving information, tracking claims, tracking pieces of information, and uh, there's a lot of challenges in this area. And uh, this is where we see an, uh, an opportunity for us as an organization to work with blockchain and for blockchain to have an impact in healthcare itself. Why blockchain? These numbers here are, are significant, right? We're talking about a trillion dollars of opportunity where there's waste, uh, orders that are given that uh, the patient already had those labs on a previous day, administrative complexity, uh, how do you get to yes to have a procedure done, an operation performed, uh, lab work done, patient care provided, uh, excessive prices. There's a lot of inefficiency in the provision of healthcare, uh, no matter what the country is or uh, the networks and the services being rendered. And fraud and abuse. And unfortunately, when you take a system and make it complex and you put the pieces in a lot of different places, there are individuals and organizations that will take advantage of that. And so with this uh, $1 trillion uh, opportunity out there, we look at blockchain as a very important piece of technology to have in our toolbox to have uh, as part of what we're doing today at Change Healthcare. Data reconciliation, and, you know, I've alluded to it in the examples I gave. Uh, what we're trying to do is have everyone see the same information at the same time, right? And be able to act upon it. And uh, we want to get out of the redundancy. We want to reduce the costs and take the errors out of the system. So I'm going to show you a little bit about health uh, care, a little bit about claim processing in the U.S. There's a lot of different parties that are involved. Uh, a provider, that's the organization or the individual that's actually providing the health care service. There's a processor that's helping move the information and make sense of the transaction uh, from the provider to the payer. The payer can be an insurance company, it can be a government, it can be an employer, it can be the individual who's receiving the services themselves. And the consumer, that's the person hopefully who's being helped with a longer and healthier life, but they're also getting the bills and they're making the appointments and uh, they have to attest their identity throughout this process. There are a lot of opportunities here, right, with blockchain technology and the pieces that are being put together. Today, a lot of this is done in paperwork. All these different organizations are keeping their own records of what's occurring. They're using their own codes. They're using their own uh, identity uh, for the service that's being provided, for the individuals receiving the service, even for the provider. When we bring blockchain technology into the mix, what our hypothesis is, is that we can simplify all this, make it more efficient, allow services to be provided more quickly, uh, the right services, uh, prevent services that are redundant or inappropriate to be provided, improve the cost points. And so we look at the claim process here, and it starts with a contract. That's a description of the services and, and the costs and under 
the circumstances which those services will be provided, right, in the healthcare context. And the provider of that healthcare says, well, I saw this patient today and had a broken arm and we gave him an x-ray and put a cast on him and uh, some uh, pain meds and sent them on their way. And that's all that claim and all that information has to get back under the rules of that contract, be validated, and then payments made. The consumer up there is receiving bills. And we think about that process and claims management. And from our point of view, it has over 30 different events associated with it. From any individual's point of view, it's fewer events. The payers see fewer events. The providers see fewer events. But it's an opportunity, much as when you think of a logistics uh, opportunity, right? Uh, where's that shipment of bicycles moving around in the world? Who has control of it? Claims are the same way. Are they associated with the right contract? Who has the next step? Are we all seeing the same claim information at the same time? When we think about blockchain and what Change Healthcare is doing with it, not, I'm going to come back to the claim example here in a minute and show you what we're actually doing with it. But I want to touch on why we think blockchain is important. We think blockchain is an early technology, very nascent. Uh, we want to be proficient at it. We want to be better than our competitors uh, at using it. And we want to contribute back to it because we do view it as a network technology. It's not something that one company can take and drive through uh, the industry or own in a proprietary way. Uh, we think it improves our products. When we have better tools, our products get better, our services for our customers get better. Uh, we believe our market is going to be disrupted by blockchain. That's a, a theory probably all of us share is that many markets, including healthcare, finance, and others, are all ripe for blockchain to change how they work, their business models themselves. And that's a fundamental um, point of view that I take with our developers, with uh, my business partners internally and externally. I believe there are business models that we need to explore, we need to work with, we need to try out, and blockchain is the way to take us into those business models. We can't sit and mess with them with a relational database. We can't try to hypothetically work with them. Let's really get the technology in place. Let's have everyone see a claim at the same time and start working on how to provide better and more efficient services. And helping healthcare. Uh, Change Healthcare has a mission. We want people to live longer, healthier, happier lives. Uh, and uh, we, we think blockchain is a big part of that, right? Bringing information to the individual, uh, simplifying their life, uh, reducing reconciliations. Here's a graphic that shows what we've put into production today. Uh, one of the challenges in healthcare is it's a very slow moving uh, industry as far as technology goes. Uh, there's a lot of uh, secure FTP out there. There's a lot of EDI transactions. And so what we wanted to do was bring blockchain into production, Hyperledger Fabric, and we wanted to bring it into production in a way that all of our customers, and you saw on the earlier slide there, right, uh, over 2,100 payers, um, tens of thousands of providers, I think we're somewhere between 80 and 90,000 now. We wanted to bring blockchain into production so that they could all use it, experience it, work with it, without disrupting their normal flows, without changing how they operate today. They have thousands of people who are looking at these screens, processing claims, looking at codes, working with patients, making payments, checking financial transactions. We didn't want to upset or take people out of their normal operating process. So we're running Hyperledger Fabric in parallel with our claims network. Um, it is integrated as part of it. We're putting all the transactions on it, and it allows payers and providers to interact with us directly through blockchain and to continue to build from there. What that allows us to do is slowly move payers and providers out of their existing EDI and uh, API ways of interacting with us. Um, there, not many are paper. There's very few paper out there, but there's a lot of uh, very old ways and have Hyperledger Fabric uh, take that load and become the primary more and more. We had some performance success with Hyperledger Fabric. Uh, often you don't see numbers uh, at this order. Uh, it's one of the exciting things for us because of the amount of uh, claims we process and the transaction flow and uh, such. We do think we can get this uh, quite a bit higher. We're a partner with AWS and they just announced at reInvent uh, a couple weeks ago that they're bringing Fabric available 
uh, in, as part of their services. And so we're working with them to uh, not only maintain this, but to take it even higher and be able to take advantage of the services that they have as well. Another partner of ours is TIBCO. I'm sure many of you have heard of TIBCO. If you haven't, look them up. Great company creating technology for technologists. They have a project dovetail that we've been working with them on. A uh, really interesting one. And uh, this is where we see a lot of potential in the healthcare market. As I've mentioned, we have financial networks, we have clinical networks, we have medical networks, and we don't think there's going to be one blockchain technology that rules them all. Uh, we don't think fabric is the only answer. Uh, sawtooth may also be an answer from my hyperledger bias, but there's also some proprietary blockchains out there that might be um, more appropriate use. And so we view Project Dovetail, our partnership with uh, TIBCO in working with them on that uh, platform is a real opportunity to take smart contracts and create independence from any particular uh, blockchain. And to have that interoperability across different blockchains, uh, they're using their Fuego engine. There's some details here on the slide. Uh, but we think it's, it's a really interesting technology and, and something we feel is important in the healthcare space because it touches so many different aspects and different workflows. Uh, Hyperledger Fabric is uh, an initially supported uh, platform and uh, um, we were really excited about where TIBCO is going on that. Uh, visual Workflows, open source and extensible. Again, uh, if you have a chance to take a look at uh, Dovetail, please do. So as I'm, I'm coming into the, the latter half here of the presentation, I wanted to have everybody step back and realize how young blockchain is and the opportunity everybody here has in the room uh, to be a part of where we're taking it and what it can do for all of us in, in finance and in all kinds of fields, including healthcare. Uh, there's quite a few steps to take a piece of technology from, hey, this is really cool and convincing a few people you know who are usually like-minded that here's a piece of technology that can change how the world operates, right? It can change how information flows. And so, um, you know, discover, create, grow, evolve, flourish is how we at Change Healthcare think about it. Uh, healthcare, we are far to the left-hand side. Uh, I'm sure there's uh, other industries. Uh, Brian mentioned a few. Uh, think about securities. Uh, we think about logistics, they, they've been moving a little further along. Um, but there's a lot of work out there, heavy lifting it takes. And at Change Healthcare, we've dedicated quite a bit of people, um, a lot of our uh, time and effort, a lot of exploration in propelling this up in the, in the realm of healthcare. Uh, blockchain infrastructure, POCs and pilots, uh, advanced analytics. We have a great AI team. Uh, they're really interested in working more and more directly with uh, blockchain and the, the information that we're putting on our blockchain. Um, application development. We have uh, several proof of concepts and pilots going on outside of what we have in production today. We didn't view going to production as being the end of the game. Uh, so we're, we have uh, financial transactions that we do. Uh, so when, if, if uh, you're in the U.S., you may have an HSA card or an FSA card, which is a a pool of money that you can use on your own health care with different tax implications. Um, we're looking at how to accelerate those payments and work with the, all the vendors who are involved and all the uh, payers and, and placeholders in that. Uh, and we're looking at uh, some other places in healthcare that are quite interesting, some, some more nascent pieces. So um, when you think about claims, that's where we're in production today. Uh, and on payments, we have some additional work. Dovetail, really interesting. And then with AWS, we're uh, looking at uh, how high we can take that scale for uh, an organization that does um, billions and billions of transactions a year. Uh, we definitely need to take that as high as we can. And here's a, a final slide, a, a quick summary of how we are approaching blockchain as a healthcare company with the financial payments. Um, we want to make things happen faster. We want security. We want that accountability. On the clinical side, uh, integrity of the data is uh, very important, of course. And uh, identity and access management across multiple uh, organizations. And then engagement. Engagement is a place where 
uh, we think about how a patient interacts with the healthcare system, whether it's a financial payment, whether it's a, a visit. And in those engagements, patients want to interact in different ways. Sometimes they want to text, sometimes uh, they want a phone call, sometimes they want to interact through a, a browser, sometimes they're there in person. With our networks and our technology, which is white labeled sitting in front of patients, it's directly sitting at payers and providers, Change Healthcare has an opportunity to um, understand identity and engagement, unlike a lot of other organizations. And we feel blockchain is an important part of the identity piece, it's an important part of the engagement piece, the financial piece, and the clinical piece. So with that, I, I want to thank everyone here for your time. Um, I'm around both today and tomorrow if you're interested in finding out more about what you're doing. Uh, but it, it's really a dynamic space, it's an exciting space, and, and thank you for this time today. Thank you. Thank you, Aaron.